Ah. Yay! What's up guys, and in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use World Guard. World Guard. World Guard. So, World Guard lets you protect certain regions, lets you disable, fire, TNT, stuff like that. If you don't want things blowing up on your server, you don't want to get chaos, this is the right plugin for you. So, you'll need World Edit, and I have a tutorial on this, so click, click on that link right there. It's popping up. Yep, go ahead and watch that tutorial if you don't have World Edit already. And if you do, then go ahead and click Download. Click Download again. Open it up and drag just the world guard jar folder into your plugins folder of your server alright drag that in then restart your server once you restart your server you can go ahead and find the folder that says world guard it should have all your worlds in the worlds folder and go ahead and e edit the config file. You should see the first thing you should see is regions. And if you have a MySQL database, then you can put in your information here. It's not necessary though, so if not, go all the way to protection and you can edit these things. And most of these are to block. So let's see like Disable water damage blocks. You can do that. You can block TNT. If you don't want TNT, put true. You can block TNT block damage. You can disable fire spread. Mobs. You can block creeper explosions, which is very helpful. If you're tired of creepers blowing up things, then set this to true. Disable player damage. This is all for you guys. Just edit what you feel is best for your server. Chest protection. Crops weather obviously this plugin is great so blacklist all right this is a list of blocks that you don't want players to use but you're gonna have to have either a file in your folder server folder or a database all right once you're done with that restart your server again and go into minecraft alright so you should have a block or something to set a region with so let's say if you have a little house and you want to protect it from certain things like okay let's say this is the spawn of your server and you want to keep it protected from players so you select it you type slash region space define space and the name of this region so this whole this whole building that I just selected with the wand tool is now gonna be known as spawn alright to protect it from certain things I'll bring up a list of flags a flag is just something that sets it to be something. I'll show you. I have a link for this in the description, but you can set you can set these things to true or false. All of these they can be set to true or false. So let's say you want to disable or block TNT in your region. So no TNT in that region. I'll show you how to set that flag. So slash region flag the name of it of your region. And then you want to type in the name of the flag. So TNT is the name of the flag and you're going to type in either allow or deny deny because we don't want TNT in here alright let's set another flag let's say I want ice to form in this area so we'll do region, flag, spawn, ice, form. 
And also the name of your region. It doesn't have to be spawn. Just saying. It could be whatever you want to name this the region. Anyways. So ice form no we'll allow it. We'll allow ice to form in this region. Alright. And here is also a a helpful flag you you can use. It's the farewell or greeting flag. The greeting flag as soon as you if you set it to true or allow, as soon as you walk in the region, then the uh greeting flag will say what you want it to say. So let's set the greeting flag. Region spawn or region flag spawn greeting. And then you're going to type in the message of the greeting. So, hello, welcome to the spawn. Alright, so let's see if it works. Now I'm going to walk in the region. And there you go. Hello, welcome to the spawn. Now we'll do farewell message or flag. Spawn farewell. So this will tell me something as soon as I exit the region. You are now leaving the spawn. Let's see if it works. Yup, there we go. The farewell message has been set. So obviously you can play around with flags if you want some some things to do some things and others to do others. Then yeah, this this plugin is useful for protection mainly, blocking, allowing, all those things. So if this tutorial helped, then go ahead and like this video and subscribe. Thanks for watching guys.